everyone welcome back this video is my empties video i have a lot of stuff in here um yeah that is actually a lot of stuff quick disclaimer though before i start sorry if the light keeps going funny um i'll let you in on a bit of a secret in the uk we have this thing right and it's called the sun and sometimes we forget it exists because it likes to hide behind clouds but other times it just wants to like pop out for five ten minutes say hi and then that's it so uh yeah sorry if the sun obviously goes behind clouds and stuff at the minute it is yeah i'm sorry about that but i do have my lights on but into the video this is my empties i have a lot of stuff in here like I cannot believe it. I have left this probably for like six to eight weeks, I want to say. Yeah, I'm just going to get into it and see what I can find. I'm going to try and do it in some sort of order, but I'll probably just find something like miscellaneous at the bottom. The first thing is this Imperial Leather Fun Fair Nostalgia. What is this? Uh, Revitalising Body Wash, Pink Peony and Raspberry. That was a bit of a mouthful. Um, I got this because it was an offer. I bought it ages ago. It smells pretty nice. I'm kind of funny with body washes. I don't like them when they're too much of a gel, like a shower gel, if that makes sense. I like it when they can like really foam up and make loads of bubbles. So this was all right. I don't think I would repurchase it. I only got it because it's a massive, massive bottle um, and I needed some shower gel. Um, so that was that, but I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Probably not, unless it was an offer and I was in the same situation again. Next is shampoo, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before. This is the Avon Advanced Techniques Ultimate Volume with Collagen uh, Shampoo 400ml. These are such good value, like I've mentioned it before. Everyone always have offers, um, and yeah, that's that. And I have already repurchased one of those, so that's that. Again, with Avon is the Advanced Techniques Instant Repair. This is like a hair mask. This again, smells incredible. Um, I have washed the pot out so I could literally get everything out but it still smells amazing these are really good really cheap compared to other hair masks um last the exact same amount of time i've paid a lot of money for hair masks and conditioners and repair this fix that thing. and i have repurchased this as well so that's that next oh baby shampoo this, i did a video about how i clean my brushes and yeah i use baby shampoo and um, that's that really cheap really good for cleaning your brushes if you want to see a video on that i'll link it below or it's my how to clean makeup brushes so that is that all this now this i have a bit of like i don't want to say connection to but you know like when you might see an animal or something and you name it and you have that bond that's kind of what i have with this this that's like a random description when you see an animal and you name it oh god i bought this and i'm not gonna lie i bought it years ago i bought it years ago um, I bought it because I saw Sarah Walker, who I've mentioned in another video, who is a girl on YouTube. She recommended this, but it's been so good. And I think I've probably had it for two years. I'm going to say two years. But basically, it's an exfoliator and it's by L'Oreal and it is called the L'Oreal Perfect Clean Foaming Gentle Scrubber. It comes with like a little, how would you describe this? Exfoliating like mitt and it's like rubber in the middle and you just like pop it out and this is really good it smells really nice and it is really foamy and literally all you do is I squeeze a little bit straight on tin and I just really work it in on my chin and around my nose I bought this because she recommended it I've used it ever since but this is the only one I've ever bought but I definitely will repurchase this because it is incredible and like I said it's lasted me a long long old time uh, that's something to look out for if you're looking for an exfoliator Next is this, now this is the number 7 Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser, this is from Boots, I got this ages ago with a Boots voucher, um, I always mention Boots vouchers in my videos but I got it ages ago, I really like this, it comes with a cloth, it's a really good product so if you're looking for a hot cloth cleanser or even just a cleanser, you don't, this is a really good one, I would recommend it to anyone, it's a really good dupe for the Liz Earl Hot Cloth, seriously people, Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser, so that's that right makeup removers oh my god i got four so starting off bioderma this is like my love like i love bioderma it is expensive like this bottle was 15 pound difficult to get hold of in the uk but you can get it online um i love this stuff it is pricey it's the best cleansing water i think i've ever used um when i use other ones I think, oh, well, this is as good as Bioderma. But then when I go back to Bioderma, I'm like, no, Bioderma's like in a different league. Brilliant if it's within your budget. Next is the Garnier Cleansing Water. This is really good. Uh, this is sort of like your bog standard one. Really good value, though, because it's always on offer. And it's a very good cleansing water. Um, I love that. Not as good as Bioderma, but still good if you have a smaller budget. But that's fine. 
The other one is the Simple Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover. Um, this again is good, I do tend to just use it on my eyes because I find it doesn't really take off all of my foundation. I kind of have to do it a couple of times, but it is really good for eye makeup. And perhaps if you use one on your skin, like you might use the hot cloth cleanser for example, on your skin but want to use something on your eyes, then that's a really good like combination to do. That's a really good eye makeup remover. Next is the Estee Lauder, oh, gentle eye makeup remover. I've had this for ages and I do have a very small bottle still left of this. Um, this is really, 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 really good. Um, I'm in like such a weird mood today, but I'm not 100% sure on the price of it because I got it for a gift. Um, love this, really good. I really like the packaging as well. And it's really pretty just to have like out on your like vanity unit or in a bathroom or whatever you would do your makeup. So that's that and that's a really good buy. But I need to look into that because I do actually really like that. So what else do we have? Oh, I have fluff in my hair. Ah, there's a fish in my hair. It's just a bit of fluff. Okay, next. Oh, this. See, this is what I meant. So this is back to hair now. This is the Avon Advanced Techniques for Rock and Argan Oil. This again is a hair mask. I really like this because I really like the smell of it. It smells like argan oil, obviously, and it is amazing. But the only thing I would say with this is I like to use quite a lot of conditioner, and this lasts me about three washes. Other than that, it is really good, and I think maybe if you don't use as much conditioner, but I love to put it all over my hair. So maybe if you don't use as much conditioner, then that might be something for you, but for me, it just went too quick. Um, but I do really like that and it does smell really good. This is incredible. This is probably my favourite thing in here. This is the Soap and Glory No Clogs Allowed Super Self Heating Deep Pore Detox Mask. This is incredible. Basically, it is a face mask. Basically, you just pop it all on your face. It is a little bit grainy. And run your hands under the tap, cool or warm water or lukewarm, whatever you like. And then you massage your fingers into the mask and the little beads that are in there I presume they just disintegrate and then it goes warm and it is so nice it doesn't stay warm for that long which I wish it did I wish it was like a couple minutes um, but it is really nice it's a really good mask it actually feels super clean afterwards um, because you just feel like all of the dirt and the grime and everything that's just gross is gone from your face um, so that is one I would recommend I thought it was £8 but I went into Boots the other day and it was £11 and I was like But um, it is really good and I do really like it. I might try and just get one more like last push squeeze. Yeah, we'll see if I can do that or not. These two things are exactly the same, so I'm going to mention them at the same time. But um, one is Avon. This is the Solutions Hydro Blend Hydrating Gel Cream. And this one is Hydroluron. So basically, you pop these on before your moisturiser. If you have dry skin, they are very, very good. I bought it because um, I saw so many people rave about it and I got it when I had loads of dry patches. Um, they weren't that noticeable, but for me it was. You know when it's on yourself, you feel like it's 10 times worse. Um, and it did really help. So basically you just pop them on. It's like a gel, but I've wiped this one clean more or less. It's basically a clear gel. You just pop it on your skin. It soaks into your skin and then your moisturiser just goes on top really nicely as well as your foundation. And it just really helps to get rid of any dry patches which I think are really good not sure about repurchasing just at the minute because I don't really need to but if I do um I don't know which one I'm going to go for actually because there's a lot more in here so that is those they're really good like really good next makeup and this is the number seven stay perfect I always used to call it which is so cringy I was like this is the stay perfect what is perfect or maybe it is perfect like you perfect something but I think it's stay perfect that's my dyslexia in me you see it's like stay perfect you can like foundation like just ugh. anyway so this is the number seven stay perfect super light foundation really really good I'm wearing it today so you can see what it looks like um this is a really really light foundation but it does have a good amount of coverage for a light foundation it's a lot better than face and body it's really good it is pricey for drugstore high street makeup it's 14 pound 50 I think I completely forgot this existed day to day foundation is my Chanel one um so I completely just forgot about this however I've been using it the last couple of days and I think I'm going to go and buy one because that is that it's really good buy number seven um stay perfect stay perfect next is MAC I have two lipsticks and a mascara starting off with the mascara this is the Hot and Naughty Lash mascara I love this I've spoken about this in so many 
many many many videos um there is basically what i call it like a day and evening so you screw the first bit off you have a thinner wand and then you screw the second bit off and you have a much thicker wand i've had it for quite a while i'm trying to think when i bought it i bought it the beginning of the year i think it was january january slash february sometime around then um but this is a really nice mascara i like that it's versatile because you can have really natural lashes or then or you can go in and um, build them up but i do really like it next with lipsticks i have please me which was i think this was my first mac lipstick i'm sure it was my first mac lipstick this is a really nice shade it is a matte um, colour and it's kind of like a salmony pink colour um, but I am actually going to like scrape it all out because underneath here there, there'll be a little bit so I'm going to like scrape it all out and pop it in a little pot um, but still take this back for back to Mac um, so that is that one that's pleased me and then the other one which is what I'm actually wearing today but I did want to mention it in this video because it's just like a little stump at the minute and this is Angel it's a frost finish and when it goes flat I mean you can see but when it goes flat I will again scrape it out because there'll be quite a lot in there um, left um, so that is two of those oh, I don't just love it when your tripod's got a gammy leg next is the Yankee Candle in Sweet Strawberry um, this was the first Yankee Candle I ever bought not this one but the actual scent and I just love it I'm obsessed with it it's probably because it was the first one that I bought and I really like it I also do also really like Sicilian lemon um but I like this one but every day I already have a backup of it um and yeah it's really nice I just get so annoyed because it doesn't look empty because there's a lot left at the bottom but the wick just can't burn anymore that's it all out all out and that is everything that was quite a lot of stuff i'm just looking at it on my bed that was quite a lot of stuff um thank you for watching this week's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up um thank you also to everyone who watched my previous video my makeup bag collection announcement video um and left really nice comments like that was really kind i'm scared i'm gonna oh no i've just worked it into the carpet subscribe if you would like to and i will see you next week for another video